But first, it's time for the Friend Zone. We welcome one of our friends at Fox here onto the program tonight. We are pleased, awestruck, couldn't be happier to be joined by Martha McCallum. She's wrapped up her show on the President's mm -hmm. First 100 Days and now hosts The Story with Martha McCallum. Yep, and you've got like a brand do. new life. You hosted mornings for a long time. I was on in the morning for a long time. As I was saying to you, I, I've recently sort of rediscovered morning. And morning is kind of nice when you can walk around your house. I drive my son to school in the morning now, which is great. Have a cup of coffee, go for a run, and, you know, kind of slide into work a little bit later in the day, which is after 100 days, I figured out. I kind of like doing that. What do that. your neighbors think? I mean, they probably haven't seen you at 7 in the morning <laughs> in 10 years. I know. that We have a, a delivery truck that brought dry cleaning, and he rang the doorbell, and I was like, hi. He was like, who are you? <laughs> That's all. Awesome. I've never seen you before in my life. You live here? I was like, <laughs> or have you, you know, done something with the people who live here? No, it's so me. you're pretty much, I know I saw you on the road the other day at a town hall, yeah. but this show and the last show come after years of being on the road yep. covering stuff. Are you glad? That you don't have to deal you know, with the things I, you have to I deal like with? I like the road. The road is crazy. I love covering political conventions. You know, we've all sort of done that routine. And, you know, on the air, it looks like it's very sort of glamorous and exciting. But the truth, as we all know, is that you're sort of trudging in and out of, like, you know, big, long trailer porta potties in 100 degree Ugh. heat in a parking lot in Philadelphia. And one time, you know, I, I had like <laughs> I know two and a half well. hours sleep. And yeah, you were there. Two and a half hours sleep. And so I, I put together three folding chairs in a closet. And someone gave me this, like, like really bad, you know, but it was kind of them, this bad fleece blanket that was like in the back of their car or something and slept cold, out cold. For about two hours, I woke up, I said, I'm like a new woman. I feel so much better. But you caught anthrax from the blanket. That was the down. <laughs> Not so far that I know. <laughs> That's, yeah. So, I mean, this, this is like predictable. Yeah, it's fun though. You know what? We, we love what we do. You're so lucky in life if you get to do something that you really love. And I'm really enjoying doing the story at night. And I like, you know, leading into you. What are the town halls like? When the you town go? halls are fascinating. The last thing we did was in a factory in Canton, Ohio. And, you know, we like to go out into America and talk to people and say, you know, who'd you vote for? And they say, well, I voted for Donald Trump. Are you still happy? You know, you like, are you getting what you, you thought you were going to get when you voted for Donald Trump? And um, by and large, the areas that we went to, they don't really match up with the poll numbers that we're seeing. People seem to be genuinely still pretty enthusiastic about what they're seeing. The ones we visited in Ohio, North Carolina, and Florida, in the areas that we were in. So, um, it's why, great. why is that? We had Mark Penn on the other night who yeah. polled, as you know. I thought you were doing that. And I, yeah, he, he, I mean, he polled for the Clintons for years and yeah. was very close to them. So, he's, you know, he's not a right winger. And he makes the case that the polling is still bad. Why are I Trump voters so be. hard to reach? Be, they don't trust or talk to pollsters. Right. I mean, this is what we learned during the election. And I think that is potentially carrying over. Now, we just have these three microcosms that we visited, but overwhelmingly, the reaction when I would say to the crowd, you know, are you A, disappointed, B, supportive but a little concerned, C, you know, I'm in 100 percent. 90 percent of the room was yeah. in 100 percent. So I think that the polling, you know, the same dynamic is continuing. People don't, they don't t trust I pollsters, they that. don't talk to them. Um, the same dynamic we saw before actually. the election, I totally agree. Yeah. Martha, it was really nice of you to stay. It's nice to see you. You can be Tucker. home right now. I'm so happy you're here in New York City. I love it. It's really cool. Thank you. Thanks, buddy.